We have eight goats. I don't think I've really done a video on them yet. The five here are our ladies. The big one is Mama Nelly. She has had babies before. In fact, the whitish one hiding behind her and the brown solid boy over in the left pen over there you can barely see is her twins. Um, we kept the our intact Carl over there and the brown boy George and we have another uh, who's a wither and then another wither is the little Nigerian dwarf Parker over there. Kept them over there so we have companions for each and we're getting pretty low on pasture grass in here. I've been working on getting new pen set up over here. We had old pallets and old, really old round hay bales from when my mom had goats. So some of this stuff was four or five years old that just need to be moved. So I have been doing fence posts using really, really tall fence posts. But it, it's been working. We've been having to do this by hand for the most part. I've done most of the posts myself and my husband's going to help me get the gate attached to the end one here so I can put a couple more posts in after that. Uh, there's a driveway before that tree. So we uh, have to clean a little bit up yet. And this will be another pen for the ladies. Uh, this is where those hay bales were sitting so it's not all the grass has grown back yet. Um, there's still some piles of wood back here where the pallets rotted that we have to pick up. And this section over here will be the other side for the boys after we build the, the chute all the way through, which will be nice. We'll have two sections of pens to rotate the boys and girls in the summer. That south field on the other side of the driveway, we tried haying this year and it's coming back a lot thicker, but our hay baler ate a giant rock someone had put in there and it... Um, yeah, it killed our baler, so it's going to take quite a bit to fix it. We're thinking we're just going to fence that, uh, one big outer fence, and then do portable electric fencing to make smaller pastures. That way we can also just take the electric fence down and hay it if we do actually get it fertilized enough where it is growing a lot better than it does. I also have to get all the pine trees out down the middle. Um, they're just tiny right now and the goats might even eat them but I'd like to pull them out of there so we can do that whole section which would give us quite a bit more space for the goats. Oh here we go. These are our two Nigerian dwarf mama, well they will be mamas. Um, the one on the left is Willow, the one on the right is Rain who absolutely loves my husband. In fact will sometimes find ways to escape just so that he picks her up and carries her. Um, right now the only place that she's escaped is underneath the fencing into the pig pen, but that's because the pigs have been digging around over there. We're hoping to get the electric fencing for the pigs up after we're done with the goat pen. Because I have eight little babies over there that keep escaping. Why well, hello Nellie. Yeah, her baby to the left there's Aurora. So uh, the big one still eating is Maleficent. She just has that look like the Maleficent in the Disney movie with, with the, the horns and the dark. I thought it was cool. So of course Aurora is her little beastie because she was pretty protective of her even though it wasn't her baby. But So they're all doing pretty good. I'm, I'm hoping to get them moved soon. We're just going to put some one-sided sheds with a roof in the new pen so you know they're just going to be rotational for the summer. Some place to get them out of the, the sun but at the same time provide shelter for the rain because I know they don't like rain. And We'll have to deworm them again soon too. I think they're doing okay overall. Um, all of them seem to be pretty healthy and happy and they like their molasses. So that's it for my goat farm update.